Hi, I'm Emily, and today, more interesting facts about the sun. So I guess there's a little controversy about who is the first to suggest that the Earth orbits the sun. This is between Nicholas Copernicus and the Greek philosopher Aristarchus. For about 75 years, starting in 1645, astronomers found that there was little sunspot activity on the sun. This happened during the Little Ice Age, which lasted 350 years. This affected most of Europe and North America. So do you think that the sun is visible from the Earth at any time or place? If you think this, you're wrong. Because for 186 days, the sun is not visible from the North Pole. The sun's light takes 8 minutes to reach Earth. So if the sun were to burn out, it would take us 8 minutes to find out. If you ever get a chance to catch the glimpse of a solar eclipse, keep in mind that it won't last longer than 7 minutes and 58 seconds. This is because of the speed that the Earth rotates. So do you ever think you could get too much sun? Well, in Spitbergen, Norway, the sun shines continuously for three and a half months. Every 11 years, something interesting happens. The magnetic poles on the sun switch. This is called solar max. How much do you think you would weigh on the sun? If you weigh 150 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh 4,200 pounds on the sun. This is because the sun's gravitational pull is 28 times stronger than the Earth's. Did you know that the sun rotates on its axis too? This happens every 25.38 Earth days. The sun is a big star, that's for sure. But in the scheme of things, it's only a medium-sized star. It's considered a G2 dwarf star because of its heat, size, and chemical makeup. Here's the chemical makeup of the sun. It is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. 74% hydrogen, 24% helium, and the other 2% is made up of iron, oxygen, nickel, and other elements in the solar system. The sun is so huge that it accounts for 99.8% of the mass of our solar system. The sun's radius is 432,000 miles, or 695,500 kilometers. This is 109 times the Earth's radius. The side of the sun that we see is 5,500 degrees Celsius. This is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Astronomers use a metric unit called the Kelvin to measure the temperature on stars. One Kelvin equals one degree Celsius and 1.8 degree Fahrenheit, but their scales for measuring temperatures are different. The Kelvin scale starts at zero. This is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius or negative 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun's core can reach 15 million K, or Kelvin. So I thought this is something that everybody learned in school, but apparently not, because according to a poll, only 55% of Americans knew that the sun was a star. The reason why the sun is so big in our sky is because it is the closest star to the Earth. It is 149.60 million kilometers away, or 92.96 million miles away. Want to try and match the energy of the sun? Well, that's a big chore, because it would take 1 billion tons of dynamite detonated every second to produce the energy put off by the sun. Solar wind is composed of a steady stream of heat and charged particles. This travels through the solar system at 280 miles or 450 kilometers per second. Thank you for watching my video about the sun. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. As you know, in a previous video, Jamie talked about the Australian bearded dragon. Rachel and Jamie brought them along on their trip to Florida, so stay tuned for some documentation about their lives. And in another video, facts about the Aztecs. <laughs> Go. Jamie and Rachel and we're here to say we'll represent Hot Facts Girls today. Woo! Woo! Subscribe! 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 Scribble! Scribble Dibble! Scribble Dibble! Wicked 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 Oh! What? What? This is between Nicholas Copernicus and the Greece, Greek philosopher Ares Darkus. Damn it! Oh! The Greek philosopher. <laughs> okay. One more again. This is between Nicholas Copernicus and the Greek philosopher Aristarchus. Gosh dang it. For about 75 years in 1640. Starting. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm on. I didn't know the camera was on. Sorry, the little microphone. I missed all the funny stuff though. Okay, so. 
Do you ever think you could get too much sun? Well, in Spit... <laughs> Spitzbergen. No, Spitzbergen. I don't know why you want to say Spitz. Okay. Did you know that the sun rotates on its axis too? This happens every... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Did you know that the sun rotates on its axis too? This happens every 25.38 Earth days. Why is that so freaking hard to say? The sun is a big star, that's for sure. But in the scheme of things, it's only considered a... Shit. Mm. Okay. This is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius or 456... Shit. Mm. But you're doing good. Or 459.67 shit negative. Negative, negative, negative. Gah! This is something I thought people learned in school. Shit. <clears throat> Solar wind is composed of a steady stream of heat and charged particles. This traver travers. Travers. Okay. You could say travels or flows. Or